Okay, so this is new. I'm going to share my top four tips and tricks with the Poco F5. So if you've seen my previous videos, I actually made a 30 day review of this phone. So if you want to see that, go visit that video. But today I'm going to share with you my top four tricks for just basically the features that I found really interesting with this phone. Okay, so for the first one, we have Wi-Fi network acceleration. So when you go to Wi-Fi, you'll see this network acceleration option. Just go there. And then here you'll see dual band Wi-Fi speed boost. So basically, if it connects your phone to multiple Wi-Fi networks at the same time to boost speed and I think also to boost coverage. So when you go there, simply have to toggle this one on. And then as you can see, here, I'm currently connected to my Wi-Fi 5G. And then my auxiliary network is connected to this one. That is my Wi-Fi 4G standard connection. So the way it works, at least for me, my primary network is Wi-Fi 5G and it supports the best speed for my Wi-Fi connection. Now, under this auxiliary network, it doesn't have the best speed. It doesn't support my 200 megabyte or 200 megabit internet speed, but this one has better support when it comes to coverage. But yeah, basically this feature, I think it's really helpful when you need a reliable connection wherever you are in your home. Okay, so the second tip is 120 hertz. Okay, we all know that Poco F5 has a 120 hertz refresh rate, but not all apps support 120 hertz. So if you go to display, for example, Facebook, Twitter, and Messenger are all playing at 120 hertz. But when you go to YouTube or any video play video app, it'll play the app on 60 hertz. But right now I have it on 120 hertz. Basically, it's the default setting for me. But if you want to change that to 120 hertz all the time, you just go to settings, go to display, and then hit refresh rate. Now, make sure the refresh rate is set to 120 hertz. Then once you set that, you'll have this extra option down here. So by tapping that one, you can set every app to play at 120 hertz. So right now, by default, almost everything is on for 120 hertz. So if you're going to search for, let's say, YouTube, see right there, make sure that one is toggled on for YouTube to play back at 120 Hz. Now it's also okay if you want to use YouTube at 60 Hz just to save battery, that's fine. See here, now it's playing at 120 Hz. It's not that noticeable on camera, but it is playing right now at 60 Hz, I'm sorry. So again, that's how you take advantage of the 120 hertz refresh rate i'm going to leave it on at 120 hertz simply because i want that smoothness on my phone okay so the third tip i have is using the built-in filters of this phone so here's an example so i have this photo and i want to apply a filter if i can just to make it you know cinematic or something like that when you edit this photo you have this option that says filter and you have a lot of filters here that's free to use straight from Poco. It ranges from the popular filters, film filters, classic, portrait, food, movie, travel. I mean, they have a lot of filters here without you needing to download another app. And I think there are a lot of useful filters here. Just to give you an example, you can check the side-by-side -side comparisons. Last but definitely not least is this sidebar. So this sidebar is a quick access tool for all your apps. If you want to multitask, for example, I have Facebook, I'll just simply tap on that app and then boom, you have Facebook in floating windows mode. So this feature is called floating windows on Poco. So to do this, you just go to settings and search for floating windows. In the first option here, you'll see floating windows. So by default, this sidebar is actually turned off. So make sure to tap this button to make it show always whenever and wherever you are on screen. But if you want to be specific, if you want to show it while playing games or while playing videos, and you can even check what games or what apps you want that sidebar to appear on. There you go. I think Poco did a good job in giving you a quick tutorial on this floating windows. So basically you just have to read that and follow the instructions. But yes, this is floating windows. Just simply tap on the sidebar calculator app. You can adjust the window like that. Here, as you see, you can drag that. You can even put it on the side. 
and continue browsing on your main app or you can open another app for example let's open this gallery app there you go you can use multiple windows on this phone even with a small screen i think it's still usable if you want to use a calculator or something but basically that's the floating windows app it's really a neat feature it's always been on most poco or xiaomi phones so that's it for my top tips and tricks with the poco f5 just let me know if you want to see more of this kind of video or do you want a more straightforward video when it comes to tips and tricks but basically that's it drop a sub or like if you like supporting the channel and as always until the next one stay safe